Very festive today in the office. Yes. Very festive. It's a fun time of year. It is. When everybody just has, like, the holidays are in the air. Greg? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really are. I was swept up uh, in the uh, maelstrom, in the wind uh, wind stream. I was now, swept into the studio. <laughs> part, of the the part of the festivities, right after we record this, we are going to do our white elephant gift exchange with the group, followed by our holiday party. Hmm. Now, that, for people that don't know, the white elephant thing is everyone brings in one gift, and then you pick in a certain order. These gifts are not labeled, but they are wrapped. So you pick up a gift. You don't know what it is. You open it. The next person goes, and they can either steal your gift or open an unwrapped gift. And it's like the stealing of gifts. There was an episode of The Office about it. Right. Yeah. And so my dad on the way in today, even though he's never... You have not been in an office setting in a long time. like no. Because you work from home with the Herald. So you were kind of curious about this, and then you immediately got an opinion that people that bring alcohol are cheating. Uh, they're not cheating, but I think it's the easy way out. You know, th th there's nothing simpler than buying a bottle of wine or something. It looks like you Roy know, brought liquor. No. Uh, I did not, <laughs> but I disagree with your take. Roy okay. It's what people want. Okay. You, you agree? It, no, I agree. Like, I'm not mad if I get it, but I'm like, you didn't really, like, put any effort. You didn't yes. try to get something yeah. that you think... Like would be specific for people to like. I'm a I'm a Secret Santa person over a white elephant. I prefer Secret Santa like nine times. Where you get a specific person. I'm yeah. so good at giving gifts. So I could get any one of you a great gift. I bet you would be a good gift giver. Yeah. Is is it lazier to get hmm. a bottle of alcohol or a gift card? Gift card. Gift card. The gift card's lazy. Yeah, that's okay. the that's the low man on the, the low gift of the low. Right? I gotta yeah. buy my own gift with your gift card. Yeah, why not just exchange cash at that point? Yeah, just give him money. You give me I 50, thought about doing I'll that. give you 50. Yeah. I thought about putting 40 bucks in a Ziploc bag and then <laughs> wrapping the Ziploc bag and then bring it up and be like, 40 bucks? I mean, come on. That, that'd be a funny sight. So yeah. that was our limit. Like our, our, the thing said up to $40. I don't know if that means like if you if I go less than that, am I a cheapskate? I went above. I'm just going to be honest. Wow. wow. Oh, you're that guy. Hey, I, got, I, I got the receipt right here. I, I went, went above as well. Uh -huh. Why thing, do you still have the receipt? My right? thing was like Because 50, I just bought the shit. My thing was like 55 bucks. Wow. At... At, at Marshalls, Ooh, I went to Marshalls which means I it was too. even more expensive. It was, wow. a, it was this, a slash down this thing price. Normally, it would be like 80 bucks. See, because now I'm deducing what you guys bought, right? Because you obviously didn't buy clothes. I didn't because buy it clothes. Needs well, to be, who knows, be, though? What needs to be universal? Who knows? No, well, no, it doesn't. Not everybody wears double XL. Yeah, exactly. You know, or whatever. I got stuff that not everybody will like. No, I'm not about liking, but you can't get something that's like fitted that right. like someone will wear. Like so some, like, I can't get the same thing you get, Lucy, yeah. because I'm a XL. So you, so you, you're no, not I could wear an extra large T-shirt. Mm -hmm. There you it's go. It's fashionable. I think it could work. Mm -hmm. I think it worked for T-shirts. Uh, baggies back in. There oh. was yeah, one skirt so that good. almost grabbed me. I almost got it. <laughs> I didn't. I went away with it, but <laughs> skirt. I feel like there's a lot of like uh, <laughs> seasonal nuts and stuff in Marshalls that get marked down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seasonal are, nuts, yeah. seasonal coffee. Some flavored popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> popcorn stuff. Like, like Halloween stuff's on sale. There is. <laughs> what? Let's talk about this one aisle in like the Marshalls Home Goods. The TJ Maxx aisle, yeah. It's just like, it's like the shit cashier. you'd never want. It's like. <laughs> Uh, a, like a small little gumball machine, yeah, yeah, a yeah, jar of like pickled <laughs> things that live at Lucy's house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, like pickled stuff. Like it's like I'm not stuff. eating oh. pickled oh, not something. That stuff. Like, yeah. I'll get the like I'll get the weird stuff. Like I went to Marshalls to get the gift yesterday, and I left with a Barbie clock for me. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I go down those aisles, and you see like roasted eggplant. Yeah, that's and, just and, nasty. But that's the thing, exactly. So Marshalls roasted. buy stuff that's like one or two seasons removed. So how long has that eggplant been in that jar? Yeah. Five years. Yeah. So gross. You Think about that. Food there. What is this posture you have right now? Right? I love like, it. Are you just casual. slink by the end of this? Are you gonna like? <laughs> I just think by the end of this, you're gonna just gonna be like slinked away. Let the man live. Seriously. I critique my dad's posture all the time because he writes for a living. His daily job. He write. You see this laptop that he has. It's not a laptop. It's like an iPad that he props up. So my dad ends up. I know this is bad for a podcast, but his posture, his day, like he's always just like I'm a huncher, hunched, yeah. mm. and typing. And I'm like, you're gonna end up with a big lump in your back. The like hunchback it. of Notre Dame mm. University. So right. there's nothing in you right now that's like I should pick Ryan up my Leonard. posture a little bit. No, play like a champion today. I'm uh, I'm on uh, I'm on loan to this uh, podcast here. Riley Leonard went to Notre Dame, and I appreciate yeah. it by the way, Greg. Thank mm. you. You're welcome. Yeah. By the way, Christopher making fun of a gumball machine. <laughs> your daughter would love a gumball machine as a gift. I have one. They're awesome. <laughs> you know what? They are balls. awesome. We bought Claire when we went to Disney a M and M machine. Oh, looks like a gumball machine. So the M and M's went down the little chute and nice. came out the tray. 
Yeah, I got yeah. mine from an estate sale, and it of came you with did. gumballs in it. And I was like, "Ooh, these have probably been here for about ten years." So I'm gonna throw those out. Did you try one? Now they're jawbreakers. No. Ha. And hey, nice. They smelled, so I was like, "Ooh, this is bad." Cleaned Ooh. out it, and then put in a bunch of mini disco balls. But you can't get them. Disco out. But it's, balls. It's just really aesthetically quite cool. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that Greg has ever been privy to the things that are in your apartment. You would love my apartment. I would. Mm-hmm. You would love. You got it photos? So much. No. <laughs> Can Dad, bring, she's big I, into estate sales where when yeah. people die. I know. That's great. Yeah. A little Lots grave it. robbing there, but it uh, is. I agree with that. I, I, always no, bring, yeah, bring dead people's stuff into your house all the time. No, but it's what the am stuff, I supposed to do? Throw it away? It's the, no, just antique just not buy it. It's the you. stuff that the family wants How to sell. I not buy it? <laughs> you got to buy a jukebox. I bought the I agree. jukebox. Not better than a good jukebox. $100. Is it a Wurlitzer? I don't know. It's not like oh. when someone dies, all their stuff is just immediately up for grabs. Like the <laughs> yeah, family decides these things. It's the trash of the what the family doesn't want is what you get. Exactly. No, exactly. I lived in LA where you would go to like some rich oh, ass estate it. sales and you'd be like, I wonder what they took if this is what they left. Because you would see some of the nicest stuff. Like it's like if you're into designer stuff, it's a great way to find like affordable designer because the quality's so good, it lasts forever. It's awesome. You guys should it's good for the environment because you're not buying new stuff, you're reusing it, you're not throwing it away. And you can't just find a jukebox these days. Mm-hmm. So when the opportunity presents itself, you take it. Yep. My dad has so much crap that many, many years from now, when I do, you know, have to do an estate sale. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of shit that I gotta deal with. Your, your game room of curios just has so much shit that no one would want. Just hand it off to Michael. I disagree I'm with intrigued. that. He has like a life-sized Pinocchio. What's wrong with that? Uh, it's terrifying. I don't think I want that. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. It's, it's, it is terrifying. Like a, mar- a real <laughs> marionette? Yeah. <laughs> with the strings? Yeah. Wow. It's wood. I had it. I bought it in uh, North Carolina. I think it had shipped down here. It's like five feet tall. <laughs> it's terrifying. Wow. It's yeah. terrifying. He Chris, has it hanging like right near this. Chris, pool show table. me a picture of it. I, it's, it's I thought it was going to be crazy. like three feet tall. Five feet tall no, is like an actual life person size. size. Yeah. 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 It is. No, it's great. I might have a picture of it. I'll look for it while you all continue to palaver. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Mystery Creek. Hey. Hey. We'll hey. just stare at you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> no, that's Jeremy, did you spend over or under $40 <laughs> on your white elephant gift? I spent under $40. Oh, wow. Yeah, me too. So you don't care about us? Yeah. yeah. Isn't wasn't that the limit? Yeah, yeah, yeah but Chris spent Chris 55. It's a soft you spent $55? That's right. Yeah, I, that's that. uh, I spent 49 uh, I think I know what's going on here. Money, it feels like Chris is here. saying what, yeah. he's, what he spent, but really didn't spend it. I really Whoa! Want to pick your gift that's now. an accusation. Mm. You what? I'm just saying. I want to pick your gift. Yeah. Whatever you're doing I know what no, gift we have, is Chris's. We have strict rules. Yeah, me too. But we have I mean, strict, those rules are not strict, Mike. No, no. We have strict rules. You, you can only steal. You can only steal twice. Right? Correct. Yeah. And, oh, and, oh, yeah. and Lewis instituted a rule that needs to be hel- upheld, and it's when you touch a gift, that's it. And that's the one because we don't want any pickup, we don't want any shaking, we yeah. don't want none of this. Right. All right. That's the big one. Yeah. yeah no shaking. You, you cannot no weight, shake the no gift. Nothing. Now you cannot touch. I walked around for almost an hour in Home Goods and Marsh, uh, Home Goods and Coles, right near. Really? Had a lot of I, time to burn before highlight. Huh? I did. <laughs> and uh, wow. And so I looked like I, I went back to, I had this thing the thing that I ended up getting I was like alright this is my thing if I don't find anything better I'm gonna come back to this because this is practical I wanted to get something funny yeah. I was going for being ridiculous something that would be a crowd pleaser couldn't really find that so then I just this is practical I think anybody okay. could take what I brought and be like I can use this but it's not gonna get you excited it's not gonna be like uh, this is so exciting. Yeah, it's, mine's not exciting it's more just like okay I can use that I had a couple options of things that I think would have been exciting and yeah. funny and I ended up going with one of them that I think a couple people here will like, but I don't know. My dad's is terrible. Just a couple. People. I know what my dad's is, and it's, realistically, it's, everybody should like it. My dad's is terrible. Why That's is it terrible? Here. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's just no one's gonna want it. I my dad's like, there's gonna be one person that is really into this. Well, it's a love it or leave it. Love it or uh, is it the book? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Side copy. That would have been amazing. That's that's a signed copy of a Pride done. of a Lion. <laughs> that would have been funny. No, it's a it's Thank a gift you. that uh, requires a little bit of assembly. That's the only problem. Ooh. Oh, kind of into it. I think Lucy would love my gift. Ooh, Ooh. my gift is fine. It's just fine. <laughs> it's just fine. It's useful and cute. Okay. Hmm. Is it a gumball machine? No, I Damn. wish. Is it something that, that you've like that. gotten from a school that you don't want that you would think somebody no, else would want? No. Because you have a lot of that stuff. All the hats yeah. you got all season? Yeah, I wear all the hats. Well, I specifically will pick out the cutest hats yeah. that I can wear them any time. And then give somebody else like yeah. the reversible Florida Gator yeah, bucket hat that you don't want? Everything that Florida sent me that I don't want, you guys can have. But I actually went and I picked it out and I said there were people here who might like this. Okay. Hmm. 
and nice. it's cute and it's mm. like part useful nice. and it was thirty five dollars. Mm. Nice. She pointed at you, Mike. I don't know what happened. No, she kind of did like one of these. I don't think you would like it. You know, th- speaking of like gifts that like nobody would own or like I know it's a thing down here in South Florida malls I don't know if you have it where you used to live uh, Lucy but you guys ever walk in the mall and you pass that little cart that has like all those yapping animals yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. okay yeah. that, that yeah, has sucks. to be a money laundering front right uh, who the hell's buying that yeah it has all, to be all those kiosk things right? in the mall they are, are, are all the every, every, well, every yeah. single mall has one it's like hey buddy you want, you want your shoes clean like no I don't want my shoes clean yeah. okay are you saying I have dirty shoes no, I mean they do that's what they're saying they're always like hey but, but that specifically that, that little barking toy thing has to be yeah. my sister had one of those nobody really? is better somebody bought one oh. nobody's no, better than I am at just not looking at those people I'm the worst at it, I, which you, is unsurprising. You stop and talk to everybody. <laughs> Not everybody, but I'll, I'll like give like, oh no, thank you, uh, sorry. I, 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 I never have this talking way. right at you. I, I, I never have to say that because I don't ever make eye contact. I, I, would, I, I would love a bit where where Tony, where those people come up to Tony and he just talks their ear off. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh this this fluid for cleaning my shoes. You ask all the possible questions. So here's the thing. What yeah. I do is whenever that happens, I already tell them I have one. I do that too. Oh, oh, yeah. The massage idea. gun? I got one, of buddy. Buddy, like, I was here two days oh, yeah, ago. You don't remember me? Like, make him feel bad about it. <laughs> yeah. I bought it from Pepito. Not you. He was on, yeah. on shift that day. The other guy was shift. here. Yeah, I've bought guy. cheap sunglasses from those kiosks a number of times, though, because I, I, ne- I was someone who never wanted to invest in good sunglasses because I was always afraid I would lose them. And then after the amount of times that those sunglasses broke... And it was all right, fifteen dollars this time, and twenty dollars that time, <laughs> and fifteen dollars again. It ends up adding up to where I, I eventually I invested in nice sunglasses, and then, of course, lost them. Yes. So yeah. no sunglasses matter what, I'm losing money. For you. you know what? You know wait, which wait. wait. Sunglasses are bad for you. What does that what mean? You, what my boy mean? Cook. Say that yeah, again. sunglasses yeah. are bad for you. I mean, what is it, You're supposed Jambalaya? to be able to look at and have the sun in your eyes. Okay, but what if I can't? No, but you need to. The sun will blind you. No, but he's making points. Roy, you don't get it. What color no, are your eyes? you don't understand. What color are my eyes? Yeah. Hazel. Vitamin D? See, mine are blue, and blue are naturally more sensitive mm-hmm. to the sun and Same. light. Which so. means you need more ability for your eyes to adapt to the sunlight. No. I don't think it works like that. I'm, yeah. I'm going to look this up. So. Look it up. Look it up. Sunglasses are bad for you. Let him cook. He burnt his food, man. The what one kiosk. Nah, Roy, you don't get it. The one kiosk that does get me every time is the damn cologne perfume. I mean, I will take a smell. Give me one of those things. Give me one of the slips. I'll take really? a smell. Oh I'm great at Heisman. Uh, Bab and Beyond to do that to you. I'm like, give me another one. <laughs> All right, see you later. And I leave. I don't buy anything. I just like to have a nice little smell. Okay. They always hurt my feelings because the hair people always stop me and be like, "You really need to do something yeah. about this." Honey, like, sit oh, down. Oh. Honey, her, let me her, save you. Really her and bad. the makeup people. They're like, "Oh, really? I look, you know?" Yeah, really. And I'm like, "I think I look good." What are you talking about? Uh, Where's Mike going? I, I don't know. Oh, it just Mike went to the door for no reason. <laughs> Mike just like someone called doing? him for he's, some reason. Dad, gonna... when you think of uh, the mall, what are the main stores that you think of? Like when Greg Cody goes to the mall, he's going to go to these stores. I go to the major outlet uh, the stores. The anchor stores. The You're ma- an anchor man. The, the Macy's, the J.C. Penney. You know, if I can... Uh, J.C. Penney. You know, go yeah. up the scale to a Neiman Marcus. No Spencer's? No time. Spencer's Ooh, for you? No, I don't... Neiman I, Marcus? Yeah, I don't go to Spencer's, no. Oh, a big wig over here, Neiman Marcus. Big and, big and he's, going, and he's going to the outlet. <laughs> <laughs> it says it says Neiman Marcus on the sign. Okay. Yeah, it does. Outlet or no outlet? Damn it says Neiman Marcus. Yeah, it says right. Neiman. Yeah. Damn right. So so Billy, um, Tony says that sunglasses are killing us and they're bad for us. No no no, I did not that say it, that they were that killing us. He said they're bad for us. They're bad for us. I'm gonna back up. Because he says that. Oh, that, you're gonna back up. That okay. the, the eyes aren't a, a, the, the eyes need to adjust yeah. to sunlight, and looking at sunlight is good, and stopping your eyes from seeing sun is not good. You, you guys can look it did up. You guys, I, like, I don't really call care. Billy in here to like look it up. argue yeah. with Tony. Yeah, that's, that's what it feels exactly. Like, what it I feels did. like it was a setup. Yeah. It's an assassination. Yes, can exactly. we talk about something? Sure. Um, so, have you talked about the white elephant yet? Yeah. A yeah, bit. The whole yeah, just too a much. Bit. Honestly, yeah. a bit. I have a confession that I'd like to make. You spent way less. He didn't than buy 40? shit. Well, here's my confession, and th- this is a circle of trust. That's and I realize this isn't good because everyone in here, like, has like half the office is in here. The white elephant. Or is going to be part of the white elephant. And you're talking into the mic. I have an admission to make that I hinted at on a previous episode. So I brought a white elephant gift um, that is recycled from a white elephant last year that did not happen. Embarrassing. Mm. So I went and I just grabbed the gift that I had already purchased for mm. white elephant last Judges? year. That's fine. And brought it in I for this. I see fine. I also opened it. I also, well, it's a re-gift of my own. I was yeah. the one that purchased the gift initially. 
and then the white elephant so got it's canceled. sat in the in the bag or in the whatever plastic so we get together at my parents house on christmas eve and me and my cousins decided because there's now like a lot of us and some of us have kids and whatever right so there's a lot of people so we started doing like a secret Santa where we'd each grab someone's name and buy them a gift. And last year we decided, let's be crazy and do a white mm. elephant, right? Mm. And what ended up happening is like four or five of the people didn't show up for the white elephant. Mm. So for a year in my parents' house, like off in a closet, there has been like eight to 10 white elephant gifts sitting there wrapped yeah. that were never delivered, selected, wow. and they just exist there. And then there's also like a weird, what do we do? Cause I don't know who bought these gifts, who these gifts are from and no one knows what to do with them, so they just are staying there. Hmm. And then I thought, well, I bought two of those, one for me and one for my wife to participate. I'm just going to use one of those white elephant yeah. gifts. Yeah. So you guys are fine with but knowing I think that I mean, that's totally fair. A family sure. white elephant, much different than a work white elephant. Like, yeah. is this going to be? I opened the gift and rewrapped it to make sure it was appropriate okay. for work. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Good. not 100% on the rules of the white elephant. So if I'm like the 14th person in line, yeah. Can I s trade with the first person? Yeah, in line? yeah. Yes. You have full like it's that's actually so it's better to go later. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's a good position. So what you if I'm the first guy? I'm and like, you grab oh, the crappy gift that no one else wants. You just screwed. So you right. want to go last, right? Yeah, but is you, there you wanna, a, yeah. is there a limit on times so a gift can be stolen? I heard them discussing it. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be three. it's gonna be no. I think it's gonna two. be two. Oh, okay. boy. Yeah, here we go. two. Two. Oh Cause, boy, Because they wanted go. to do unlimited swaps, and I'm like, we'll be here That's for five crazy. hours. Well, no, and yeah. also the last person gets the best gift. Yeah. yeah. Are we doing? Are we? How are we deciding the order? They, they're already putting We're numbers draw in numbers, a bucket yeah. and stuff. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> That's mm. the rules, Billy. Now, you do well wait, buckets? Greg, why are you still here? Are you participating in this? Uh, apparently, I'm did here. Did you bring a gift? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I love no, this. I did. Yeah, I brought a gift. Now, how does this? He was work? already making fun of it. This guy. Yeah, it's a terrible one. But now, how does this work? That's where That's we already, really made, yeah, yeah. We already made that joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, Tony pointed at the book like if it hadn't been said before. I was setting set you up. up yeah. I was setting you up. Now, you idiot. <laughs> if, if it's a forty dollar limit on this gift, but I, I didn't come close buy something at Marshalls, you blew it out of the water. That is worth forty dollars, but because it's like a Marshalls type place, I get it for twenty two dollars. That's great. But That's it's something that would have originally have. been worth forty. That's good, right? Yeah, I bought some. Yeah. Congrats, yeah. you won the game. I had a similar. My item oh, would have normally been forty dollars, nice. but it was nice. discounted, so I got it for twenty eight, mm. which is great. I spent fifty five billion. You still I have think yellow shit on your face. Mine might have cost six ninety nine, if that. Like All right, three I can't days get later. Gift. I gotta throw it away. Mine's right. dope. You're gonna want my gift. Someone is going Damn to it. love my gift. It's awesome. Oh, why are you it. pointing at Jeremy? What's happening? He has is still he has still has any of the poo stuff face on his face. face. Oh. oh yeah, you yeah, like yeah, these costumes. Off. Yeah. You're getting into Dan like territory. Dan Jr. Yeah. 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 You're, you're major you Dan, Dan yeah. zone. I'm just a suck up. So I, I know it makes Dan happy. So I it makes me happy. Mm. That's all. <laughs> Teacher's pet. You get kinky for Dan? Oh. Sure. When do you think that'll wear off? <laughs> <laughs> What, when will it wear off that I'm February. trying to... Uh, the teacher's pet thing yeah, or like the makeup? Year, when, when do we have our holiday reviews? Wow. Tomorrow? Well, then, a couple of days from now. Oh, I got bad news for you, Jeremy. I don't think you're getting one. Greg, are you an eggnog guy? <laughs> no, I hate eggnog. You hate eggnog? Yeah, I really wow. do. My wife loves it, so we always buy the big gallon of eggnog. and It never gets finished. It, it doesn't buy me. I mean, I literally dislike eggnog. A little I, thick for my taste. Oh, super thick. Yeah. So basically, you don't like custard, basically. I don't like custard, no. Yeah. Yeah, but once, like you, custard. once you throw some alcohol in it, it, it gets thinner. I can rum it up a little bit, and you that's tolerable. But, yeah. uh, what's your drink of choice? What do you, uh, yeah, what's the holiday what do you drink? celebrate the holidays? I feel like Greg Cody from... You know, December twentieth to you know January seventh or yeah. so. You're just seventh. Wow. You know, put a, put a candy cane and a Miller Light, and that'll do me okay. But, <laughs> no, uh, you know no, what I, I you know what I do like I do like a uh, an occasional point setup. Mm. You know, champagne with the cranberry juice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really like the the orange juice with uh, vodka. What do you call that? Screwdriver. Sc screwdriver. No, no. Uh, but but the mimosa. Mimosa. With champagne. Oh, champagne. Yeah. champagne. Mimosa. Yeah. Champagne. Oh, the best. Yeah. I love how you remembered poinsettia, but didn't mimosa. I feel like is the more common one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You're right. It is. But uh, yeah, I like those. You're a heavy orange guy or light orange guy on the mimosa? Uh, about Citrus 50, guy. 50. 50, 50. Some pulp? 50, 50. Yeah. No, not, 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 on on not on a mimosa. Not on a mimosa. Not on a mimosa. Yeah. What are, what are yeah. Animals? Yeah, exactly. Like an eye drop champagne. of orange. Take a little pulp in there. Yeah. So what's your an eye drop? Yeah, an eye drop. <laughs> what's, yeah. Your, what's your new year look like? You wake up December 31st. 
Last out New with the old Eve. and with the new. Yeah, what does that look like? How do you how do you ring in the new year? You're just drinking um, all day, have people over. No, I I do a traditional uh, black eyed peas dish on New Year's uh, Day, which mm. is customarily good luck. Good luck, yeah. Let's get it yeah, started. So you know that, huh, Roy? Yeah. So we do that. I was waiting for that. Uh, usually put a little <laughs> diced ham in there or something, you know, dress it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's about it. We're pretty laid back on New Year's Day. Hopefully you're babysitting this New Year's Eve. I got a feeling hey, that's a hey, we, we, haven't, we haven't been asked yet, so how would I know? I think that was the official ask. Was, the was it? Okay. All right. I got to check with the boss on that. It's hard. To, <laughs> ever since I had a kid, it's hard to reach mom. Well, what days. are you? What are you looking? What are you looking to do New Year's Eve that you want the babysitter? No, I just would like. Like that to get option. after, dude. Let me, I, don't, let I don't really have. After. I don't. To, to answer your question, I don't have like a set plan uh-huh. yet. Ah, uh-huh. you're going to the hard. Are you? Are you a big New Year's guy? Like, Not anymore. For me, New Year's isn't a big deal. I've yeah. actually gotten big into just sitting on my couch. I'm a big like watch Anderson Cooper okay. and Andy Cohen oh, on yeah. CNN. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. I wish they let him get drunk. Yeah, me too. Last year they might. They might. I've heard that they might this year. Please. So but I like to get all the major networks, their New Year's Eve thing, and I just scroll through them. Like, you know, the Ryan Seacrest one. Eh. There's the Fox one, which is always crazy. Um, that's, really? that, that's honestly the last few years. I enjoy that. I, I like go to the store. I'll buy a bunch of food, some champagne, and yeah. we'll just sit, watch the TV. But this year, I'd like to do something. So Would you? you? Babysit. Thank all you. All right. Please. You got plenty of time to get a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> get your brother to do it. Huh? There you go. Tatiana and Michael. Yeah, t- keyword Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> I have an admission to make from earlier. Uh, I really do like the costumes. I, as a former theater kid, I really like yeah, of course it. You I'm do. not just yeah. a... You love I, it. Yeah, being that. a suck up, it, that's part of it, but I really do love no it. It's one, super fun. Not a person asked you to do a Winnie the Pooh voice this week. <laughs> no, no, person. that's not true. No, you're right. I did it for myself. I was trying to elevate the if I'm gonna be wearing a costume, I might as well go all out. I would have researched the voice if, first. If I did. I sounded just you like it. No. It was an incredible good. impression. Oh, get out of here! Go watch Winnie the Pooh. Do it again. This. It was. I watched. Do Winnie it right now. I grew up on it. Okay, hold on. Do it what right now. I, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Whatever Winnie the Pooh. Say something says. inappropriate yeah. that Winnie the Pooh. Something with the phrase "honey pot." Yeah. 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 Christopher Robin something. Is that him? Yeah, Christopher Robin yeah. is the uh, the kid. The, yeah. Christopher's yeah, robbing my opportunity friend. to do this well. No, well. just say the joke. Say, let's hit up eleven. Was that it? I don't get it. <laughs> oh man, I lost it. <laughs> I feel like Winnie oh the Pooh God. has like a, like a signature <laughs> hey, laugh Chris, that you should. Let's hit up eleven. That's oh, okay. How was that? That was it. No, that wasn't good. That was no. That was better. See, all right. That was not good. I don't know, man. Didn't didn't go. It was, no, not like that. That's, no, that's too high. Oh, no. no Do you guys know yeah. what Winnie the Pooh is? Yeah. <laughs> he speaks slowly. He's got a, a soft yet uh, tenor timber to his voice. Yeah. This is like an old man. meticulously like an old man. executed. I, you guys I think, are wrong. I think Pooh has a laugh. Yeah, he, he does. does. Have a laugh. I think yeah. you were right. Yeah. A chortle, if you will. A uh, chortle. Did Tigger have a lisp? I don't, oh, rem- I don't remember hmm. talking that much. I, uh, I don't I remember him. So. Yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember Eeyore chatty. more than anything. Eeyore, yeah. He Eeyore was just star. depressed. Yeah. TTFN, Pooh Bear always yeah. seemed a little scared. Yeah. No? I related to Eeyore. Eeyore, Eeyore. 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 wasn't close. Was that Joe? <laughs> Joe, what do you think? No, yeah, it wasn't Zagaki. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. On the corner of 441. And Powerline Road. Powerline, everything. The center of the universe is 441 and Powerline Road. Do you do that at home? Yes. Yeah. Do, do you take that stuff home with that's, you? That's where I, I workshopped it originally with Jenny, who had no idea <laughs> who Joe Zagaki was. was. Jenny must be like, what and the I'm hell like, is babe, going on? And I'm like, babe, when you gotta go, you gotta go, Arrigo. And go. she was like, what are you talking about? I'm like... <laughs> Bill Seidel's gonna save ya. Seidel saves. Seidel saves. Yeah, so yes. <laughs> to answer your question, I do annoy my wife with all of my antics at home. How many people out there you think like they hear all these super local things and they just <laughs> laugh along with it and they have no like yeah, right there, there's one. Right here. That's such a niche thing. Taylor like, said the same thing. Yeah. That he had no idea who any of that you know, any of those companies or people were. But anytime Mike did the Joe Zagaki uh impression. The impression but like the the <laughs> The kickoff, yeah, the kickoff, kickoff. Yeah. yeah, he well would laugh. Yeah. I think that there's people who do that with just about anything, though, right? Because I, I think I was on Mystery Crate when I admitted here that I haven't seen like any of the '80s movies that you guys are always talking about. That mm-hmm. like I don't know 
the majority of the movies that get spoken about by Stu Gatz. And yet, of course, just laughing along, ha ha, chumming it up. I feel like I do that in everyday conversation as well. You haven't seen well. Tango and Cash? No, I have not <laughs> seen yeah. Tango and Cash. Uh, but, now, but now that you brought up movies, the, the second part of this mystery crate is going to have like a little bit of a Christmas movie draft. And I, I, and, 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 yeah. Oh, is that what we're doing? Yeah, and I just want to just like... Can we have a white a clear elephant one recap one. too? We, yes, we will. Okay. But um, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Let's say Yes. 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 Yeah. Just be, okay, yeah, of so, course. Just because it takes place Debate during over. Christmas, right? Yes, that, so yeah. that means that also makes it a Christmas movie. Batman yes. Returns is a Christmas movie. I mean, if you want to, mm. yeah, sure. It takes place during Christmas. But do they point out that it's Christmas? Yes, like they, often. There's a tree lighting in the movie. All right, then yeah. It's is Christmas Nightmare movie. Before Christmas a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie or both? Because I've never seen I think it. Both. Point. both. Good. Yeah, really? I think it's a hybrid. That's a good call yeah. though. What is the Nightmare Before Christmas? It's also highly overrated as well. What? 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 It's overrated. You're asking what it is? No, no. I'm saying it's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Right. So it's just not the Nightmare Before. Halloween. I always wanted it's a to play like, on, you know, the night nothing Christmas made me want to be a scientist Christmas. more than a nightmare before Christmas. This what? guy, this guy with the wheelchair, like just like <laughs> pouring potions in and like, yes, now the potion is ready. I just wanted to good you impression. Wanted to be a scientist. Mm. So you like why did you why didn't you pursue science? Because yeah. I gave up. You didn't want uh, to be, didn't it was hard. Hollow, STEM is hard. What Halloween science? Would, what science would you have pursued? Like where where would your scientific brain have taken you? Hmm. <laughs> we'll be right back. Come on, Chris. The science of giving as little effort as possible in school. a boy. <laughs> there you go. I took that Gr class too. Wow. Chris <laughs> Greg, Chris told us today he's a B plus student. No, I said you were a B plus student. I was like 3.0. B. On a good day. <laughs> <laughs> we Five, took the four, oh. three, two, one. So with technology and stuff, hmm. how do you think or how long would it take, do you think, for us to catch the Zodiac Killer today? Ten minutes. Mm. Very festive, I know. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, you think? Yeah. yeah. I'm not familiar with his work. What, yeah. what was his uh, alleged crimes? What was his alleged... I know, but uh, tell you. Multiple, yeah. multiple murders. Yeah. He was, a, he was a serial killer in yeah. the Bay Area in the 70s. Oh, like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in yes. that one movie. They made yeah. a movie about okay. it called Zodiac. Zodiac. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's called Zodiac. <laughs> yeah, it's called Zodiac. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Zodiac. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. you got... Yeah, I get it. This is Zodiac. Yeah, Kodiak. No, Zodiac. Yeah, Zodiac. Yeah, but... Kodiak Bear. Never never found out who he was. <laughs> they never found out who he was and he uh like he would go dormant for a bunch and then somebody else would die they'd attribute it to that person but i don't think you can really get away with that well the whole point too is that he would send the newspapers and he would send the cops, the cops yeah. like like almost like riddles like like yeah written stuff riddles and like things that he they'd have to like transcode and you know all that so they never found him, but today they'd find my boy in 10 minutes. Right, he'd be out down the road before he can They'd be knocking on the door, yo, let's right. go. Sending clues, what, man, bring your ass out of here, bro. <laughs> here, around with you. <laughs> Thomas, they got us, let's go. <laughs> hey, y'all, Jeremy snitched on Thomas the other day, bro. He Big did, time, he did. Right. Big time. He, did. he let him take the fall for that. Right, it was the equivalent of like we were saying, <laughs> you get locked up, and then your friend hide behind the tree, he's gonna get away. Yeah. Come on out, Thomas, <laughs> they got us, we locked up, bro. I, I, told, I told Jeremy right away, I'm like I never want to do any crimes with you. Like right. you're gonna that give me quick, up bro. right away. They you're didn't gonna... even press on him. He was right. getting that shit up quick. Now, Thomas said uh, it's a tilt. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I, I, I gave Jeremy like four or five lines from that song. He didn't use any. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with that. You would have been arrested too, <laughs> yeah, exactly. bro. He would have got us both here. So your lines weren't good enough for yeah. the song. For that sh yeah. shit song. <laughs> except except trust me, they were good enough. Oh uh, wow. Oh, what were they? Wow. Okay. What were they? I had one about like Sangam. Yeah. Uh, Zach could be a guy if he doesn't die behind that line. In the, can you do it in the song form? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what line was it? That's in? another Start thing. Spreading. That is the voice that Jeremy should have made. He just yeah. sang it like Jeremy Taché. Yeah. You got to throw like some Frank on there. Yeah. Start spreading. The or, or get Greg in. Cody on Zoom. Yeah. Like that exactly. would have been a win if my dad was I'm leaving that. today. He did. He limped in. He was like, see, I was spreading. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Do we have it? Can you find it? Tom, <laughs> Tommy D is on a streak. Yep. In New York, New York. York, hmm. you know, and then I would have made a joke about how it was a bad weekend of football for those two to win conference player of the week. It was, I can see yeah. why yours didn't make it, dude. Yeah. I think it's still on the computer. It's by still on the way. computer. Can not you play? We it? Won, not that we want to. Can we play that. it? We can. I'll yeah, try to find it. I mean, I, I prefer this vote. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I got it. I got no. it. I got okay, it. yeah. No, I vote no too. Actually, <laughs> I vote okay. yeah. All right. Well, uh, now we're split. Shit. Damn it! There's only four of us. <laughs> Damn. Ty goes to the runner. Yep. Who's the runner? That means no. I ran. We don't play it. Damn. All right, that's fine. Plus, we don't want to get pinged. Will we yeah. get pinged? Mike Ryan's been saying that like 
podcast. Like we used to, but, but doesn't be, I know I'm like saying this all in a podcast. Doesn't because Miami do like a, t- a ton of parody songs. Uh, they get, they get pink too. Uh, they get pink. Yeah. Yeah. My friend, my yeah, I don't know about. I don't. I don't listen to that one. I'm unsubscribed. Tommy that. Okay. the man. Man, forget about it. Oh, oh, turn this off. <laughs> The only good thing he said was Gabagool, yeah, yeah. which is like the most yeah. obvious joke. Like at the, at the end, can you play just the Gabagool yeah. part? Damn, you gotta make my butt get in the DJ lab. Like, well, damn, I don't know he wants to play his part. I was not really sure where it is. We hear all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. Oh, I just heard God. that part. Yeah, it's not good. These offensive lines. Okay. It's, yeah. it's at the end, Mike. I'm trying to help you here, dude. It's at the end. See, it sucks, huh? Being in that spot and like. Well, the thing is, if you mute it, you can't hear it. So yeah, then, put it in there's cue, a cue, brother. Bro. Come on, oh what are you God. doing? No, Jesus, that we've gone too far. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've already gone too far. Yeah, we've gone far enough. We need to finish. Oh, right? Everybody right? suffered enough. Yeah. yeah, we were supposed to uh, do a holiday draft in here the, this week. You know what I mean? The famous Levitard Show Mystery Crate holiday draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we still have time to potentially do it next week. Yep. But we want all of our brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's the thing. This. Look, look around here. It's yeah. empty, right. right? And it's no part of their own, man. We be here for so long. Some days mm-hmm. traffic be popping, man. You got to go home and get to your loved ones. Mm-hmm. Salute to our brothers and sisters that ain't here today. Mm-hmm. So, what are we gonna do today then? Uh, well, there's multiple things we could do. <laughs> okay. Uh, one is Mike Fuentes had something. The Zodiac Killer. <laughs> but, that, yeah, but we, but we figured that out in two seconds. No, yeah. there's, I thought there was something else. Boom, roast it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you asked how long would the Zodiac Killer take? I said ten minutes, and you're like, "All right, that's it." Cool. Yeah, because it's true. It's, moving. Like, he, he'd probably post something on Instagram, you know, that, that everybody out there with a true crime podcast would be like, "Oh, look at that tree! It must be fall here." Boom, he's caught. Mm. You ever see that documentary? Uh, Don't fuck with cats. Yes, I have. How they yeah. found that guy? Yeah, dude, Bro, that they shit do this, is crazy. They do the same thing to him. That'd be it. It'd be have over. you guys seen it? I have. No. no. Drew, go watch it. It's guy, on Netflix. I guy. don't fuck with cats. Yeah. <laughs> this, guy started, accomplished. this guy started killing cats on the internet. Yeah, and, and it's pretty brutal. Sp- like, spoiler alert. Facebook. Well, no, that's not the spoiler. And the oh. spoiler Facebook is coming Facebook groups up. Like, saw the videos mm-hmm. and like basically Facebook turned into like detectives on it and they ended up catching the guy. Like, because he killed a real yeah. person. Yeah. yeah, he ended up doing that later. Mm. Yeah, but that first That's thing he did was he he yeah. killed two kittens very brutally on the internet, yeah. and of course that pissed off the internet. And then they used like all these like context clues. Oh, like look at his Google look maps. at his bed sheets. Those yeah. were only made here, and Correct. they like found out where he was just Damn. by little stuff they could yeah. find in the video. And then they had like a video on a corner, and they triangulated like where that gas station was, and then yeah. they used like some formula. He's on the seventh floor in this window, and they found out where he was. It's yeah, crazy, God, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This sure is one crazy. of the better docs, though. I think. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was gonna be stupid at first but i liked it a lot yeah yeah that's hard i i gotta i gotta take i got a question okay what because you guys well my brother got a, a daughter what age do you think it is time for her to know that santa may not be exactly who we know him as at her age but you know who we know him yeah. as at our age um that's a good question. I think you kind of got to go with the kid on it, right? Like, I don't know, man. I, I'm trying to think back when I learned these things, and we should probably put something at the beginning of this <laughs> right. podcast now to let people know that this might, this conversation could come up. But I don't know, dude. I, I'm going to ride it out as long as it goes. Obviously, she's only five, mine, so yeah. we're still... She's she's on the, on the... Oh, she hasn't... She's buying in hardcore. Right, we right. did actually... Actually, this is actually a funny thing because my daughter wants a puppy for mm. christmas oh boy that big ass seems <laughs> and i'm kind of in for it my wife a little less so but so I, we were going to do the thing of like let's have santa bring her a puppy christmas morning it'll be great yeah. we brought her to the mall to talk to santa and we're like all right so you're gonna ask for your, what are you gonna ask she's like a puppy and a laptop i'm like you're five you're not getting a laptop <laughs> laptop i know just this, I'm, she's, that's what she wants she's not getting that um but <laughs> So I'm like, okay, puppy, like ask him to do it. And then he goes up and I'm like, cause I'm like 20 feet away. I'm watching her talk to the Santa. She's like, I want a puppy. And he goes, I do toys. I can't oh. do a puppy. He's doing you a favor. Yeah. He no. Is. Hey, you, you don't know family dynamics. That's right? right. Hey, Santa, sure. you don't say, you don't have an opinion on anything. Tell him. <laughs> you <laughs> nod your head. Right. You say, have you been mm-hmm. a good girl? Oh, you want that? Okay, we'll see. Santa, he's, Santa loves you. He's covering his own ass. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you can't be saying things like that. Because she, now she comes back. She's like, Santa doesn't do puppies. So now oh. you're so like, now you got to get something else. Decision's made. I mean, no, oh. we can still do it, but it'll be like, no, now, but now it has to be like from us. It's easy. Right. You say, I talk to Santa. I say yeah, it's okay. I guess she is five. I could. You could do anything you want. Yeah, <laughs> there's not any strict rules here. You could lie to her. Yeah. Man. The great part is in this episode of Chris Cody's life. Yeah. You actually get into an argument with the Santa. Yeah. And you're like, buddy. Right. Well, I was like, 
<laughs> and my wife this doesn't a great, want a dog. This is a great skit. She, yeah. was, right? she right, was loving right. that Santa did that. You're She's like, like oh, good. Stop. I need to talk to Santa. I was like, that's horseshit. Like, he just, like, affected our family. Right. Because, like, some, just nod some, your head, fat man. Fat right, man, right. nod your head. So I like you being outside of the mall, and then you kind of see him on a cigarette break, and he's ripping a heater, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to give this no, guy a piece of what my he mind. was, because there hey, was no one in line. Nice he job, was, Dick. You know what he was doing when we walked up? He was standing over a fan and, like, opening Blowing his, air. Opening yeah. his, like, because it's like, it's like a warm suit in, like, a mall. Yeah. And he's just, like, standing over a fan. You see the fan, like, blowing his. Bro, I like to say that. You, this is an act, even this right here. But after the mall incident, you saw him outside. I'm like, thanks for telling my dog. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Slip him a 20. Yeah, oh, why would you do that? Why would you say that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Christmas is ruined. Yeah, damn. Yeah, it's it's crazy that I feel like we want kids to be so smart. Um, we get, I mean, elementary school, we're learning about yeah. uh, mathematics and yeah. geometry. And we're like, oh, yeah, your tooth fairy is on the way. With your <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're missing a tooth, huh? <laughs> right, right. All right. I'm like, Dad, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll adopt Lucy's dog. Mm. Man, that's a crazy. Let me not even start <laughs> with that's that. That's a crazy. Because I was sitting outside hearing that, and it's like, look, I'm I'm all for dogs, right. other yeah. people's dogs. Right. Like I love other people's dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a big dog, dog guy. Really? No, absolutely not. I'm right. good. For people that don't know, Lucy is like renting a dog for a day. It's, it's yeah. not. It's like it's what's it called? I forget what it's called, but Rent it's a, a, thing, dog. a thing in Miami where she takes a dog for a day, walks it around, and hopefully people see it and adopt it, but then she brings it back. The, whole, the, the whole concept Rent to me dogs. is just off. Well, no, they're just hoping that whoever rents the dog <laughs> keeps the dog. Right. right. Like right. They're like, oh my God, I've loved having a dog for today because... I've never walked up to a dog and thought, oh man, maybe I want to, you know, adopt, adopt this dog. exact dog. I've right. never thought that about life. That's what I think all the time when I see someone walking the dog. Hey, let me get your dog. <laughs> exactly. And in this instance, the answer will be okay. Right. You walk up, <laughs> hey, hey, just got to fill out a paper. <laughs> What's you know? a make and model this puppy, yeah, yeah. huh? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so they're hoping that you fall in love with the dog and just yeah. keep it. What a scam. You talk about outside, the dog who getting rented, that his first time getting rented, right. he think he out this <laughs> way. Like, yes. So he like, look, you over there, yeah. you lame, forget you, yeah. bump you dog, I'm out this. I see y'all hell but you think it's what? the first time dogs are dumb it's every right. time they're like oh yes this is it right. and then two nope. days later yeah. back, come back in two days the right. same night my boy going back in the kick is out the oh. tail between the legs there, there's that one dog who's been out like seven times someone walks in he's not even excited he's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've seen this this, one this bullshit again right. they're gonna walk me down this damn park yeah. take a shit bunch of random walking. strangers gonna pet me I'm gonna come back smelling like the outside All right, what, Hialeah Park again okay. yeah whoa <laughs> it's just like after a certain point, me and Mike were talking about it with Stugatz. After a certain point, kind of the, the time's up for, for the that's, for the mutt. That's, oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> the time's up, man. Because, because There's only so many times you can get rented. How many day trips until <laughs> well, they're like, all right, let's put exactly. this Exactly. It's a little bit of a... Oh, no, 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 I didn't damn. mean that. No, like, no, no. Put this no, one no. in the back of the line. I didn't mean... No, 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 I swear. I meant like... There's a line here, dog, like that one. But that's like, what no they do. It's like, the big nap on the couch after. Yeah, a certain, uh, they put like, in the incinerator, yeah. dude. This shit's that's done. Oh, up. wow. <laughs> Leave that market. We're going to have a lot of... Uh, uh, Super Stu got, Stu got said a wood chipper. This, this is not for kids. This, this episode. episode is not Stu for God kids. Stu got said to put the dog in a wood chipper. Super Stu Charge Atlan, man. Stu got is a maniac. Yeah, he's the one that's, well, Never mind. Anyway, so, Stu God said so the Zodiac killer, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back, hey, can we get back to the Zodiac <laughs> killer, please? Right, Lighten-hearted Safe stuff. spice. <laughs> Safe spice. <laughs> Fuck. <Yeah. laughs> Look at the ice spice pictures over there. Hey... No, he's not Kiersey. <laughs> <laughs> Big night Friday night for the clones, huh? Yeah. Tonight, right? Uh, yep. Tomorrow. Tonight. Yes, last night. Could be Saturday. Huge yeah, win. Uh, Sometime between now and then. Good thing you brought it up. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 Didn't you have something? I thought you had something. What? No, I don't know. Oh, you're doing the thing I did to him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got scared when I told Skipper it was okay to start. Dude. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just that part. Uh, yeah, we were I'm having a, we were having a, a meeting where everyone was there. An all hands meeting. And Skipper meeting. was not down here because he was sick, so he was on Zoom in New York, and we were kind of waiting for it to get going. And Mike like emerged into the well, room. Hold on, say what you were doing. Oh, I was, you, were the, you were the first yeah, guy starting. I was, to do that. I was like having a little fun. Cody's and, an instigator. Anybody who walked yeah. into the room right before the meeting, I was like, oh, means here, we can start now. <laughs> and then like Carmen, our our nice office manager, walked in. I'm like, oh, Carmen's here, we can start now. And then so the joke was hitting. Tony was laughing at it, so I was like, I'm gonna keep doing with this. And then. Fuentes walks in, so I do the same thing. Hey, Fuentes is here. We can start. Just he should just leave it there. Let that. And he's just like, 
All right, Skipper, you can start now. Like, he like oh, did no. yes and improv and right like, into the mic. Like, all right, Skipper, you could start if you want. I'm like, yo, I'm like the I'm I do a fake Skipper impression, and even I was like, you dude, be careful. Got a little red on. I was that like, one. be careful, my guy. <laughs> I know what it, I know. What we were gonna talk about what? recapping the White Elephant oh. party. Oh, that's what it was. That's, that's what right. it was. Greg Cody just getting every gift stolen from him. So hold on, let's let's set the table because. Mm-hmm. We picked a number. Everybody in the office picked a number one through 29 or 30 or whatever it was. And people. then everybody mm-hmm. would go and pick up a gift or whatever. Mm-hmm. Your dad got the first yes. pick. Mm-hmm. And then got it stolen yep. nine multiple, times. Multiple over. times. Right. There were so many. There, I, this was an interesting one because like no gift. There were a couple gifts that got like fro like because if you get stolen a certain amount of times it's i had a, i had somebody. a frozen in time gift what'd you end up with i ended up with the ear cleaner dude mm. the that was, ear cleaner that, that thing got that was the first thing to freeze i think that yeah, was that first was stolen first, first I, frozen, loved yeah. it. I was like dude i've been wanting one of these yeah because danny took it from danny b took it from your dad right. and then he took it from danny b I no, the, Mike took the, it from. I got the back oh, massager. Mike, right. Oh, the back you massager. Me, oh, Gino that stole that one. No, yeah, Gino yeah. stole it, and then Juju. I had <laughs> snatched it. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody stole my. Uh, what I had? Uh, the Sanduce. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sanduce. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jeff, Jeff took it from. No, no, no. Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, took Cynthia, Cynthia took it, and then that Jeff took it. My sister. And then Jeff took it from Cynthia. I couldn't stop. Opening candles. <laughs> Dude, bro, you got like eight candles in a row. <laughs> there was so many luckily, candles Lucy, that were all Christmas. Luckily, Lucy and Jesse stole them from me. So yeah. I didn't have to. I ended up with, what did I end up with? A Yeti cup. <laughs> <laughs> Which you stole from your dad because we were like, yeah, steal Greg's it was, mug. It, was, it turned into steal Greg's whatever, whatever it was. Right? Yeah. And then Greg actually got two mugs stolen from him because mm-hmm. then Danny stole like the a thermos. coffee thermos yeah. and then you stole the Yeti cup. Can we talk about how adorable Dan looked who didn't participate in it but was just standing in the back like videotaping it yeah. like a yeah. parent would. It was nice to see him in. He was watching us enjoy each other. He, he was laughing. Yeah. He was laughing a lot. Yeah, him yeah. and Frankie. And Frankie him and Frankie just, had the best time. Our security guy just wanted theft everywhere. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He's, like people were walking to the gifts. He's like, "You could steal. Yeah. You could steal." <laughs> we're like, "What the fuck?" It's it's like, yeah, Frankie. Steal it. He keep us safe in here, man. He took out somebody not too long ago. Yeah. Man. Salute yeah. to him, man. Yeah. yeah so let that be a warning. Right. So what did everybody end up with, Chris? What did you end up with a again? Yeti cup Yeti and cup. something. Billy brought in a six dollar kids toy. What did <laughs> you buy in the first place? What was your gift? I bought the uh, the big cooler. Thing uh, that oh, that's a good gift. Well, up, yeah, he went over the limit for it. Uh, you know, so. uh, oh, but it was at Ross, right? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's good though. He's good. Damn, bro. I, I end up. Well, see. I learned about the white elephant a little late. When when I say late, I mean like 20 minutes before we started. <laughs> so you had to go out, right? right? So I ran to the mall, and I just went to Foot Locker, and I said, okay, $400, bam, a pair of shoes for $39.99. Yeah. I got them. It was a size six and a half, and luckily Gino, uh, his, his wife, wife, wears the boom. same size. You know what I mean? Merry play? Christmas, sis. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna honest, get, thank you for the bad massage, though. I'm sorry. I honestly yeah. knew. I knew, <laughs> was swap, was gonna, was right? I knew people were going to come strong. That's why I was like, I got to, you know. What'd you bring, Tony? I wanted to go more funny, but I, I like. No, nah, that was a good gift. It was a good gift. I, just was like, I, I went, went practical because I couldn't find something that I really thought was funny. funny. I was going to go funny no matter what. So I was. I had a bunch of different jerseys that was I found. Was yours funny, though? Oh, the States one. Yeah, the States jersey. jersey is funny. <laughs> is it? Yes. No, Tony, Tony, Tony goes up to me. And and he and he comes up to me and he's like, Mike, bro, I think you're really gonna like my gift. And I'm thinking, man, you know, maybe you got some socks or something. Why would you think I ever want that? I've never worn a jersey in here in my life. No, buddy. But here's the thing: you don't wear that jersey. Where's Lewis? Get him to walk in here right no, now. No, Lewis is it today. long gone. Nah, for sure he's gone. <laughs> Lewis is long. There's gone. no way Lewis is back there with you, right, Danny? Yeah. No. All right, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. Confirmed. Gone. Um, that jersey is so you can frame it, and like put it in your house and be like, go state. So okay. it was meant for Greg. It was meant for whoever <laughs> yeah. had the vision, dude. That's uh, what it was. Yeah, yeah. No, I think Lewis I has worn it the last two days. Yeah, yeah, he really likes it. <laughs> no, I feel like I had the most like combo of funny and practical gift, not to my own horn. What did you do the tortilla blanket? Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was uh, all right. That, that Billy opened and then people, Rose it was a, it was a, it. people wanted it though. It, was, it went around a few people. No, no, it just went to Rose. Rose ended up Rose ended up taking it from thought, Billy. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, Billy someone opened it and it got stolen. Because Billy opened it and then he kind of like just folded it and put it right in front of him. Like when I had my chance to steal, when I decided to screw Kugler over by getting his uh, board taken. Mm-hmm. Um, I like looked around real quick, and I didn't really see anything I wanted. What I really wanted was the bonsai tree, which is what your dad brought. I was making fun of my dad for that thing, and that thing was like it the was, most popular thing. Yeah, it was for the podcast audience. It's a Lego uh, bonsai tree, like eight hundred piece Lego set. And when I was looking around for gifts, I think like Danny GQ had it like behind him, mm-hmm. and then Charlotte had a bottle of Flanagan's barbecue That's sauce what I and got. sauce exactly. Brought. But she but she had it like close to herself, like this. So I didn't see it. So I just walked right by. 
because I could have told Charlotte, hey, take the board from Kugler, give me the sauce, you know? Yeah. And I didn't. So I just saw Lucy. Lucy had like men's cologne. She's not going to wear men's cologne. Yeah. So I just like took the cologne. I don't care what it smells like. Go yeah. mess with Kugler and grab the cheese board. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Doing God's work, Mike. Thank you so fun, much. Though. It was fun. It was fun. I was glad we did that. So I could have, I was going to go with uh, a double XL Aaron Rodgers jersey from the Packers, <laughs> which I felt like would have been funny. Um, Old jerseys a, are funny when it comes to A this Brady thing. jersey from the Bucks. Then there was two Raiders jerseys. Like these are all in the price point. Oh, they were all thirty nine ninety nine. Wow. Uh, a Josh Jacobs twenty eight that he doesn't wear anymore because he wears eight <laughs> now. And then a Derek Carr on the Raiders jersey. But they were all triple XL, but all game like the game worn ones with like the short sleeves. Oh, nice. So I was gonna get those. And then there was one that was an extra small Kyler Murray jersey, <laughs> and it was like the size of the book. It was but like that, this but big. that would have been funny if you sold it as a game size game Kyler worn, Murray jersey because yeah. he's so small. The thing is, I was at Ross for an hour, and after a certain point, I was just like, let me get out of here. That's, dude, that's where I, I was at. I, I was in Ross. Kohl's, and I'm just like, exhausted. I found the cooler. I'm like, all right, this is my, this is my, I'm going to get this if I can't find anything else. And it's just, after like a half hour, I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just get the hell out of here. No, that's I, what happened to me. I had done, um, I had done a Secret Santa gift exchange with friends last year, and I bought the same blanket. So I just went right back to the previous orders on Amazon, order again, boom, done, because I knew it was wow. a good like white elephant gift. Roy, what did you do? What did you bring for the white elephant gift? Um, I brought the JBL wireless. Speaker. Oh, nice. oh, that was good. That got, we were, we were that looking for who had who had gotten. There that. was two of them, so two people yeah. got one. I had the small one. Nice. I have the same small one at home. And what'd you end up with? I had uh, drinking glasses. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, box, that's right. You opened box. those, right? Yeah. yeah. Very on brand. Who brought that? That's a good question. I don't have an answer Let's for that. Sit stick, here. stick your head out and see who I brought got the glass. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Oh, so Roy, before you came earlier, we were thinking about the Zodiac Killer. Who brought the glass? And basically, <laughs> who would? How fast do you think we would catch the Zodiac Killer today? Because of technology and whatnot. It would probably be at least three days to a week. Wow. Yeah, because you can't be sending letters to the cops now. No, they'll have like, like yeah, but they'll find it. Uh, exactly, and yeah, and they'll like test the dirt on the paper. Oh, this is irradiated. It's three blocks down the street. Boom, you're out of here. Exactly, you know? yeah. Carbon dating. Exactly. You can't do crimes like you used to. No. Yeah. No. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to say, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, you've been doing research on that. Yeah. Uh, trial and error. <laughs> right. Who brought well, them? No one out there knows who brought the cups. Roy got. So they were mystery mm, brought cups. Mystery glasses. Mystery brought glasses. Yeah. yeah. Mystery I learned, crate. I learned that Coogs brought. One of the cups that were given. Oh, uh, one of the. Uh, okay. one, one I, why'd you go like this? Yeah. Well, yeah what <laughs> Jeremy one, one brought the Jeremy brought the Yeti cup that I Yetis? ended up with, okay. and then there was another cup. Yeah, a white thermos. Yeah, that's, that's what Coops that your dad brought. also got yeah. taken from. Yeah. 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 That's all I learned out there. How many candles did you end up with? Two. Wow. <laughs> but and there the was four, four total. The first one smelled good. Yeah. The second one. Huh? <laughs> Wasn't it like more oily? It was like more. I like like I screwed off the top, and my hand was like. Yeah. Moist. Moist. It melted? No, yeah. it, was just, it was just like wet. It was weird. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Moist. Hubba hubba. Yeah. Uh, ooh. What are your guys' least? Gabagool. There it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? What's Finally. your least favorite word? This is like a moist conversation, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. On there. I don't mind moist. I have one. Caterpillar. <laughs> Why? Caterpillar? That's <laughs> so random. Why? Why do you just, not just, like the forklift? It just needs to get over itself. <laughs> so Caterpillar. Caterpillar. The insect needs to get over itself. Yeah. Okay. The talking about things that annoy me now. Uh, Tony's top five song. I've grown to hate it. Hey! But it's not his fault. <laughs> it's <laughs> the guy who said hey, his fault. No, because um, bom, because when bom, we come in in the morning, oh, the testing. Bom, bom, yeah, bom, when we come in bom. in the morning, yeah, Jason turns does, it on. Why does he always do that with that sound? He comes in, he turns it on, he lets it run for like three minutes straight because he's checking audio and stuff. You know, he's doing his job. But that song, now when I hear it, I don't know. It just like, like can we test another song? I'm any song. You. Every morning at right. one point, you just randomly hear that song blazing through you the think I'm gonna, You think I'm gonna pop out just out of nowhere? <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. now, tomorrow I'm going to show up. Hey guys, look. Like just one time, let it be what? <laughs> yeah, anything. It's too short though. He needs a long yeah, song. He needs a song. He can do the. He can do the bucket uh -huh. of death. Uh, no, yeah. no, no. Let's, start hitting that. let's no. do a thong song parody that's called the long song, and we'll just play it. That long, 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 long. See that long. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, no, Roy. Roy. Oh my what? God. Saucy guy. Wait, what? Uh, you said, let me see that long. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, you said it, brother. I, I mean, <laughs> cut that out of high. Yeah, uh, supercharge that. Oh, yeah, supercharge, supercharge that. Uh, 
Yeah. All right, Mace. Roy, what do you got coming up? Outside of the hockey show, on the hockey show we just recorded. The occasional hockey show. Yeah, like, well, no, this one's every week. Okay. And I, I, well, just the said, last I, just pulled, next, a, I just pulled the Greg Cody, <laughs> and I said okay to something that was. Yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> um, check out Cinephile. Yeah, there's a lot of good. What's stuff. on Cinephile? Uh, this week, and Ann Verk is on Cinema. Adam, Adam Ann Verk is talking about uh, just. How'd you guys get Sebastian Maniscalco? <laughs> I kept that under wraps, by the way. Just I know, because great job. the guest bookers, Laura Brandt. Uh, Love Laura. Shout she's out to awesome, Laura. By the way. She's yeah. great. Um, she got a, him for us, and I was thinking that this show was going to steal it. Not this show. The main show was going to steal him, so I didn't tell anyone. Not a boy. Yeah. <laughs> who should who should I get a, as a guest for this show? I got, I got a small phone book. I, I, you know what? I could probably get a Donovan McNabb. Who? Donovan McNabb. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, that was weird. Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb. Yeah. Donovan McNabb. <laughs> Donovan McNabb. <laughs> I didn't hear what he, when he said that. I, I was like, probably, Donovan McNabb. I could probably get us Donovan McNabb. Ooh. Okay. How about who else? Uh, we have some options. See. You know? Donovan may be busy that day. Yeah. Right. I can get us Michael Thomas, Vick. Thomas Rongan, who was the huh. subject. I can get us Thomas Darrow very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> this week on Cinephile, we're talking about the new Napoleon movie. Ooh, talking how is the it? The new color pur- purple movie. I haven't oh. seen any of them. I oh, okay. Guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, we interview Patricia Clarkson. Oh, Oscar that's nominee. a good kid. Good kid. Who's that? An actress. But from what? What would I know her from? Uh, she was in Shutter Island. The Untouchables. Oh, I love Shutter oh, Island. Oh, Shutter Island. Great she was film. like the yeah. love Shutter she Island. She was like the scary lady in yeah. it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yes, I know. Exactly. One of my yeah, better I'm impressions is from Shutter Island. Okay. When I do, uh, we've Le- never heard it. Yeah, you have, because even Chris said it was good. As a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio as a Boston cop, uh, excuse me. So we're both duly appointed federal oh, marshals. Oh yeah, I've yeah. heard that. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Right? I mean, it's kind of an exaggerated. Yeah. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. 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 Duly to... appointed federal marshals. Federal marshals. Federal marshals. There you go. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>